can't believe it, but I still have my Christmas brief up. Hello, guys. I have claws now, Mr. Blue. I love them. Putting on these. Want to make sure? <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. Look, getting the new nails has Mr. Bluey thinking I got extra fingers. I have claws now, Mr. Bluey. I have always loved long nails, but I've forgotten how limited I am. They have been actually a little bit of a hindrance. I have hurt myself. <laughs> pretty sturdy. I love that whole natural look, even though this is not really like natural. Pretty, but I feel like they look like, I don't know if it's just a little bit chunky or a little bit too thick or whatever. They look like they don't belong to my fingers. Anyways. Hello, Mr. Lukey. Honestly, mind blown how bright it is right now. It's only like 6.35. And is this bright? I ordered some Kroger, so I'm gonna be getting it soon. <laughs> Look at the bunny. I'm still gonna be honest, I cannot believe it, but I still have my Christmas brief up. But yes, this is the only Christmas decoration I need to take down. I don't know, for some reason I keep forgetting about it, but yeah. Hello guys. Good morning. Do a little Kroger haul featuring Miss London. Oh, got some paper towel, toilet paper, water bottles, almond milk, popsicles, bomb pop, ice pops, vanilla ice cream, some chicken noodles, mac and cheese, some corn on the cob, some butter and bar sour cream. We got some potatoes. We got some rice. We got some beans. We got some juice. We got some turkey. We got some bacon. We got burritos. We got peanut butter. We got grape jelly. We got chips. We got little bites. We got green bananas. First of all, it said plantains, but they're now yellow, so they're going to be my noodles, which that means they're going to end up being sweet. Second of all, this one is connected. I've never seen that before. But... I have to have my coffee, the sweet Italian cream with the almond milk together. The combination is absolute heaven. I love it. And of course, we'll... London requested to have a fort built, so Tommy ended up building it. <laughs> use the ladder and obvious chairs as you can see from both sides and then we have the ottoman situation i mean look at me doing like a fort hall i just found it so funny and cute and she slept and very comfortable i can't believe how big the almond tree is and i'm so glad that you did move it over here and look at these pineapples I think that's huge. Giving some water and some food to the kikirikis. These, these are truly one of my favorite chickens. These are a smaller breed and the proper names I believe is Bantam or Saramas, but they're just a very small chicken. Like, so cute. How are you doing? Enjoying your food? And over here, Got the little little chickens. Don't know why I got a sound like that. So that one right there. Oh, I love them. So these are the Americana chickens. It's just a little closer look. I love at how many different patterns of chicks hatch. They're so adorable. This one right here looks like a little penguin. And I love it. And these little blonde ones, they're just absolutely adorable. Look at that face. These are Transylvanian naked neck chickens and not all the eggs that hatch from this batch will come out naked necks, but we were lucky to have three. They're so cute. I ended up putting on these as my set for today and I love them. I am rocking the Converse that they're like over 13 years old. Oh my gosh, my mirror. I cleaned down and was that streak. Anyways, I cannot believe how old they are and they're still standing strong. And I'm rocking some long pants, but because we're gonna be outdoors, I need some long pants. I don't wanna get bitten by anything, but these are some tights that are super breathable. Uh, if you can see, you can see the details and it, it's just comfortable and I don't wanna be worried about getting bit. And then I'm gonna be rocking a really oversized t-shirt that this is just tied up here. And then I have an undershirt under, wanna make sure. <laughs> so I think this is working with just like a little necklace and then my bandana. Is there any? Yeah, this one is like a. Okay. Oh, like yeah. Yep. There is? Yeah. Ah! So 
At this time, we have already a couple of Kikiriki eggs stored here. There is two of them that already hatched. And I am just so amazed at how small these are. These are the Transylvanian naked neck eggs. And just comparing the two, it truly blows my mind that there's a baby that hatched from the little small one. Like, look at the size difference. Crazy. These are the two Kikirikis that hatched. Their heads are still a little wet from when they hatched, but they are so tiny. They're probably like half of the size of my finger. Extremely small, but they're so adorable. Every single day, the Americana are producing on a daily basis like four to six eggs, which is obviously so beneficial for us. So it's just really exciting to have chickens. Having eggs is definitely one less grocery expense to worry about and I just absolutely love it. <laughs> the area where we finally decided to just do the little gym sessions when we're not able to work out at the gym. Since the kids have been doing the sports, we've just gotten a gym membership and this is a perfect substitution when we're not able to go to the gym. So Tommy has been having this punching back forever and ever and finally we're just kind of just using everything, keeping our bodies moving because it is so important to stay active and I cannot express how much I really am back and forth with my working out situations. It's just so hard. So having this should really, really keep us. Did I do it? Yes. <laughs> Tommy ended up seeing Bogo for the meat lasagna and the rigatoni, rigatoni bolognese, bolognese, I don't know. So basically, this is what I am going to make for dinner. It basically serves like three per whatever. So we're just gonna like put that in the oven and get it going. Hopefully it looks like this. Currently, the bolognese looks like this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna also do a salad on the side, but so. We'll see. So this is how the lasagna came out. I did cut it in half and I did add some Kraft's Parmesan cheese. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna put it in a plate. Yummy, my tummy. <laughs> this one is a rigatoni bolognese and it did look a little sad. So I did add a little bit of mozzarella cheese, but it looks really good. Right? Little anticlimactic, no. you know? No? Okay, it looks good. Yeah, but extra of the meat. This is on top. satisfying too. The lasagna, this is what it looks like. I mean, together it looks good. I am gonna add the lettuce. And along with the lettuce, I ended up adding some red pepper, some onions, and corn, sauteed that together, perfect. Mm -hmm. 